come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. For mark, O Lord, we praise you, the weak by grace made strong. His witness in his gospel becomes victorious song. May we in all our weakness receive your power divine, and all as faithful branches grow strong in you the vine. My life is at the service of the gospel. God has given me this gift of his grace. Alleluia. I trusted, even when I said, I am sorely afflicted, and when I said, in my alarm, no man can be trusted. How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? The cup of salvation I will raise. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. O precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful. Your servant, Lord, your servant am I. You have loosened my bonds. A thanksgiving sacrifice I make. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people in the courts of the house of the Lord in your midst, O Jerusalem. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. My life is at the service of the gospel. God, God has, has given, given me this gift of his grace. Alleluia. Alleluia. I do all this for the sake of the gospel, in order to share in its rewards. Alleluia. When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter. On our lips there were songs. The heathens themselves said, What marvels the Lord worked for them! What marvels the Lord worked for us! Indeed, we were glad. Deliver us, O Lord, from our bondage, as streams in dry land. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. They go out, they go out, full of tears, carrying seed for the sowing. They come back, they come back, full of song, carrying their sheaves. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I do all this for the sake of the gospel, in, in order, order to, to share, share in its, its rewards. rewards. Alleluia. This grace has been given to me to proclaim to the nations the infinite riches of Christ. Alleluia. Praised be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. God chose us in him before the world began to be holy and blameless in his sight. He predestined us to be his adopted sons through Jesus Christ. Such was his will and pleasure that all might praise the glorious favor he has bestowed on us in his beloved. In him and through his blood we have been redeemed and our sins forgiven. So immeasurably generous is God's favor to us. God has given us the wisdom to understand fully the mystery, the plan he was pleased to decree in Christ. A plan to be carried out in Christ, in the fullness of time, to bring all things into one in him, in the heavens and on earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
This grace has been given to me to proclaim to the nations the infinite riches of Christ. Alleluia. We always give thanks to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, in our prayers for you, because we have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and the love you bear toward all the saints, moved as you are by the hope held in store for you in heaven. You heard of this hope through the message of truth, the gospel, which has come to you, has borne fruit, and has continued to grow in your midst, as it has everywhere in the world. Tell all the nations how glorious God is. Tell all the nations how glorious God is. Alleluia, alleluia. Make known his wonders to every people. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Tell all the nations how glorious God is. Alleluia, alleluia. The word of the Lord shall endure forever. This is the message which has been proclaimed. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me. And holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from the thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The word of the Lord shall endure forever. This is the message which has been proclaimed. Alleluia. 
God is the Father of light. Through the good news of his Son, he has called us to believe in the truth. Let us pray now for his holy people as we say. Lord, remember your church. Father, you raised your Son, our good shepherd, from the dead. Make us his witnesses to the ends of the earth. Lord, remember your church. You sent your Son into the world to bring good news to the poor. Give us courage to bring that good news to all peoples. Lord, remember your church. You sent your Son to sow the word of life. Help us to sow his word and to reap its harvest with joy. Lord, remember your church. You sent your Son to make the world one through his blood. May all of us work together for this unity. Lord, remember your church. You set your Son at your right hand in the heavens. Open the gates of your kingdom to those who have died. Lord, remember your church. Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Father, you gave St. Mark the privilege of proclaiming your gospel. May we profit by his wisdom and follow Christ more faithfully. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.